Go, rip it. Good, one more. The biggest goal was him just to be, number one, a bigger threat on offense. You know, you've got four of those starters who are very good offensive players. And uh, the one guy that, you know, the team always talked about was really picking a game up on the offensive end was Luke. He's always a great uh, defensive player. So we wanted him to be, we got to play off those other four guys because they're so talented on offense. And that's what we focus on. You know, I had a relationship with Luke when I was in Sacramento and coached him in Sacramento. So I kind of knew his mindset. He wanted to work, he wanted to learn. And we just got in the gym in the summertime and worked on game specific things. Finishing at the rim, knocking down corner threes, playing off the ball, uh, making, you know, strong hard cuts to the basket, catching. It wasn't very overcomplicated. It was just getting him into a confidence mode where when he caught the ball, he could make a play for himself. Uh, and, and so the guys would have confidence when they got double teamed and, uh, or they saw him open, they didn't hesitate to pass him the ball. Cross. Good. Oh, yeah, good catch. Good. Yeah. He's a really good guy. You know, he played the game and he understands the game. And you know, he was a pretty good player as well. So just getting knowledge from him and, you know, being, you know, close and have worked with him in the past is also really good. <laughs> Take a charge, Valley. Yeah. <laughs> all I care about is him getting better. And he understood that, and that's all he cared about. And it made it easier for, our, you know, me challenging him in the gym. Like, hey, we've got to work on this every day. There's no days off. It doesn't start when training camp starts. It starts a month and a half during the summer uh, to work on this. So when training camp starts, you're already into the flow. Uh, when these guys get here, uh, they see how much you improved, uh, you know, finishing around the room with your left hand, right hand, right foot, left foot, uh, just different array of moves and having confidence when you catch the ball. And most of it that he already knew how to do, it's just, you know, finding his spots, finding locations where to get the ball and just showing the confidence. So when Chris and Blake, you know, JJ throw the ball to him, they know he can make the right play for himself or the team. Now the late ball of Mookai. Oh, real oh my. He's shown a lot of pointers, you know, he knows the game a lot, you know, from a guard who played and, you know, the angles, that he just he just knows the game. So it's, it's fun working with him. He's a good guy. Yeah, he's been helping me. Go. There you go. Good. Doc would never, ever take a guy for missing an open shot, you know, but he'll take out for not taking the open shot, you know, and that's one thing Lucas found out, like, you got to be a threat on the court. If you're open, you got to shoot it, but shoot the shot that you worked on, and that's what he spent a lot of time on, shoot a lot of shots below the break, cut to the basket, finishing with either hand uh, and putting pressure on the defense even in transition. So Luke has done an outstanding job of doing that and we've got to continue to build that to also uh, help him because the one thing that Luke really does well is play defense. And I said, listen, your defense is going to spearhead your offense because all of a sudden you get more possessions, the team gets excited, and, and once that happens, you know, you're part of the offense. The consistency with it, you know, is staying, getting the routine you know, with us before and after practice. Uh, getting extra shots on days off and, you know, after practice, coming back later on and just doing it over and over, you know, it's uh, starting to, you know, become a little more consistent. So I got to stay with it and try to continue to get better. One thing with Luke that he's learned, like, listen, find your spots, pick your spots, and then when the lane is open to make a cut, when those guys get double teamed, they'll pass you the ball. So that's the confidence part of him wanting to catch the ball. That's shining away and being that fifth guy on the court that nobody's guarding. So he's done obviously an outstanding job. Once he's figured out those spots, we watch a lot of film of himself, of the guys who are great cutters in their careers. And I think that's, you know, paid dividends for him so far.